fine if you can handle it. So you gotta kind of check the comments as well, okay? Yeah. And by the way, camera does not have a lot of battery, so just kind of pick and choose a little bit. So real quick, I ordered a box of 45 pounds of macro rock from Marine Depot last Sunday night. I also ordered quite a few foundation rock from Bulk Reef Supplies last Sunday night as well, simply because they have like, um, they both places have stuff that I want. Marine Depot seems to sell these macro rock a little bit cheaper than Bulk Reef Supply for whatever reason, but I understand that they're the same thing. But Bulk Reef Supplies also have those foundation rock with like the, the straight or the flat bottom that I wanted that Marine Depot did not seem to carry. So, um, all them both Sunday nights, today's Friday, Marine Depot's um, arrived. Thank you so much. Ta -ta. By the way guys, uh, it will look kind of disconnected because like we're filming for IG Live right now at the same time. That's why it's kind of like, we'll try to make it a little bit better in editing. Okay, ready? So here it is, Marine Depot 45 pounds, macro rock. Let's see what we got to work with. Ooh, okay. I like the fact that there's a lot of bubble wrap. How are you? That's gonna keep me busy. Uh, we can wrap Leon in it. Let's see what we got from Marine Depot. I have not seen this. So my previous experience with rock, mostly uh, Pocani's, um, Reef Safer's rock from BLS or like these um, macro rock. I have couple, just a few pieces that I squirreled away and uh, Telegram also gave me one nice piece. So that's, that's the extent of my experience. These are definitely heavier than Pocani rocks. Usually Pocani is, pr I would, like the size, I would say it's half the weight. So right off the bat, I was like, oh, this is heavier. Shape wise, it's not as natural as a Pukani rock. Pukani is more organic, it's more rounded, but this is more angular, which is not a bad thing because if you look at my tank right now, those are all Pukani rocks. But I think like over time, somehow the roundness got lost. You may think that's like uh, one of those like reef safer rocks or whatever you want to call it, all macro rocks, but that's actually Pukani. And I think it just got chipped off and whatnot. So let me pull out these rocks and just kind of like, a, this, is a interesting, this is an interesting one. I could actually use this as base. Let's see what else we got. This Inception, piece is cool. People. You're doing Inception. Now I'll be looking at this rock the whole weekend because I'm trying to build something. Oh yeah. This is what we're talking about. Now we're getting interesting. Like those other pieces I pulled out, it's kind of rectangular. I'm not, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. I'll give them like maybe like B minus. This right here, we're getting to it. It's like probably A minus for me. I like those more organic. I don't want to say bolder shape, but like um, a rounder, fuller shape. I feel like it just has more possibility. Yeah, yeah I like this these. reaction, just lots. <laughs> I, <laughs> Dude, I like, I like this is going to be the foundation of the reef. I'm super excited. But I am also alarmed by how heavy these are. Like this, I was not expecting this kind of weight. But again, most of the, my rock experience have been Pukani. I've been spoiled. This one is okay. We saw two really nice big pieces. I'm satisfied. We can definitely build things off of those two. Look at this. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. It is kind of rectangular, but then it does has it does have like some of these um valleys and canyon that is interesting as well. We can definitely do something with this. This can be a nice I like this. In terms of working with these rocks, I ordered some like acrylic rods, uh, the macro rock, epoxy or whatever it's called, cement, I think. But oh, this is a nice piece too. Like I like this type. This looks almost, this feels like a foundation rock. Like if I did not order the foundation rock, I would probably use something like this as a base, right? Um, especially because of how heavy it is. I could start something here and just lean out and it will still be able to hold this weight. Now down here, we got some like small ruble that we can use to kind of fill the gaps where we connect two big pieces of boulders or maybe some crack and we can like shove some uh, little stone in there. And that's actually a fantastic tip from BLS TV. This is 45 pounds of rock. Uh, macro rock. Macro rock is um, also known for different names like reef safer rocks and BLS and stuff like that but from what I understand they are the same thing from the same place. Shape wise I am happy with them. I was chasing the Pakani shape and also the weight but obviously Pakani is no longer available so... You're what? Okay. <laughs> so I'm happy with the shape however I'm slightly let down by the weight but that's not something I can control and I can help. I feel like this is probably the best we got these days. I think overall it's a good purchase. If of you guys course, you think it's a good purchase. No, if it's not, I'm gonna say it's not. Uh, <laughs> if you look back, but if you look back to one of my older videos of when I bought rocks for my 17 gallon drop-off tank for my frogfish, I also bought roughly 50 pounds 
and the amount of rock that I got in physical space is probably triple this. It's ridiculous. I was like pulling rock out one after another. I got like a whole stack of rock. So I guess that was what I was used to. Um, so when seeing that fact that we got this amount, it's like, mm, this is a, uh, how much is it? Uh, it's about hundred bucks. It's hundred bucks. So it's, it's like, Argh. but you know what? This is also um, kind of like the most bang for the bucks rock out there right now. So we'll just have to roll with it. Shape is good. I just wish we can get a little bit more, but it is what it is. So this is from Marine Depot. I think the bulk reef supplies, what are you doing? I think the BLS ones got shipped out pretty much the same day. It's, they all ship it out next day, so they should arrive either tomorrow or the day after. We'll see. Two days later. Go with the nose. Give me back my camera. <gasps> oh no. Bubbles. Peanuts. Oh, this is cool though. Look at this. Oh, I gotta give them props. Each rock is individually wrapped. Ah, oh, I like this. And this is actually a really nice size. I am impressed. I'm actually impressed. This actually looks really good. These are the foundation rock, meaning that basically it's a regular marker rock, but they cut it so that it's flat on, on the underside, as you can see right here. Um, the idea is that regardless of whether you're using sand or bare bottom, um, you need something flat to lay against the glass. Uh, if I do this properly or appropriately, I should not use sand yet. I should put the rock down first and then put the sand on top. And I've explained why I did sand first in some of the previous videos, so I won't repeat it again. But let's go ahead and dig out. I think I got two more pieces in here. Right, let's take a look. So that should be a medium-sized one, and this is a or two of the small-size foundation rock. Yo, these actually looks nice. I'm impressed. I think that should be it. What else I got? Whoa! Wait a minute. I think Marine Depot is like two twenty or something like that per pound, while the uh, bulk resupply was three dollars. And they're both macro rocks, so they should be the same thing. But I was curious enough to order a little extra from Bulk Reef just to see. Oh, I like this. Nice shape. Here's another one. Also nice shape. This one kind of falls in line with the, the ones I got from Marine Depot. I should really weigh the rocks and see how much they actually weigh. Okay, so this is... Yeah, it's kind of similar. It's kind of similar. Let me bring it over. Oh, I guess it stinks actually. It's... Yeah, it smells kind of, it smells kind of raw. This one. How about the other one? The other one smells okay. Just this one it smells kind of raw, like raw fish. Weird. All right, let me bring this one over to these guys. Um, quite similar to be honest. Um. Oh yeah, you get this little raw smell. They look really similar, to be honest. They're probably the same ones. Although just from what I received here, I feel like the bulk of supplies, at least from the batch I got, it seems a little bit more porous. It's like there's like more holes and feels a little bit lighter, not as uh, not as heavy as the Marine Depot ones. But to be honest, if you put them together, hell, I won't be able. To, I I can't know. I won't know like what came from what. Let me see. Here's the other piece. Yeah, you know what, man? It's Team Rock. Honestly. Maybe because the volume of requests is a little bit uh, smaller from Bulk Reef Supply, so they kind of pick out the smaller pieces, which happen to be a little bit more interesting looking. Versus um, from Marine Depot, because I'm buying 45 pounds, they mix in some of the uh, heavier or larger boulders, like this right here. That the shape may not be as interesting as the smaller pieces. So. As notes to you in the future, if you want to buy these kind of rock and you want like fine details, little pieces, hey, maybe you can order a, or put in a request saying that you want smaller pieces and later on you can kind of epoxy them together because the smaller pieces definitely looks a little bit more interesting than the larger boulders. But yeah, I'll happily say that they are probably the same rocks from the same place. Although the foundation rock does impress me actually. I wasn't holding up much hope for them to be honest. I feel like oh, it's probably gonna be like a really boring looking rock with one side shaped off. But the shape is actually really good. I'm impressed. Well done, Bulk Reef Supplies and well done, Marine Depot. Um, good value for the actual rock you built escape with. Um, Fantastic ideas with the foundation rock, actually really well executed. I was impressed by these. Four to six more days later. Hey, what's up, reefers? Uh, 
that life today. He kept crying, so I gotta put him on me. And mom is playing this karaoke app. I think up till what, four o'clock playing it, right? Basically, <laughs> basically like everybody go into this room and they just karaoke, take turn, take turn karaokeing. Yeah. It's actually a pretty fun concept. It's, uh, it's not bad at all. But today, uh, you've seen the unboxing of the rock from Bulkery Supplies and Marine Depot. I tried to put them together and I'll tell you, every time before I start doing Aquascape, I think that there's like such a fun process, uh, just like DIYing like the stand and stuff like that. But when I get into it, oh my God, dude, I forgot how painful it is. I don't want to say I hate it, but I hate it. I know some of you guys are like Aquascaping expert, right? That come in with a plan, come in with an image in your head. I don't. I talked about having possibly just straight up column rocks, maybe like uh, four or five columns that's like have a foreground, middle ground, and backgrounds. So that's number one. And number two would be something like this. It's kind of like a more interesting scape. This is not the final, of course, um, but we will have something like columns, we'll have something like an arch, and then we'll have something with an overhang, uh, meaning that this piece could go something something like this, right? Just sticks out, something a little bit more dramatic. And the third option is actually boulders. And basically, uh, we'll have rock in the front that's a little bit low to the right side of the tank, a little bit further back, uh, a little bit higher up, and all the way to the left side, we'll have almost like a, an on a boulder as well, or different islands. So two big islands that kind of meet in the middle, um, it all ends in a cliff, meaning that we're gonna have a nice little channel to go in between the two superstructures here. And I may put some like small ones along the way as well. So those are like kind of like the three ideas I have. And nothing concrete for the whole week, I've just been kind of like playing around the rock, try to turn them here and there to see what I can come up with. And let me tell you, this feels a lot tougher than when I was escaping the 45 gallon tank or the 10, 10 gallon or even the uh, mangrove tank, probably because we're working with a lot more rocks than uh, the other tank. For example, the cube tank, I just need three or four nice large pieces I'm done. But in the cases here, look at this. Um, all these probably just fit maybe like half the tank or maybe like even one third. So I don't know, there's a lot of possibility and, uh, and that makes things tougher. So on the wall here, just ignore that piece. I'm, I was kind of playing with this little setting right here. So I, I was thinking maybe like something like this, a little bit funky, a little bit uh, intricate and we'll somehow work the existing rock into that scape I put on, my, uh, on the table and we'll see. Honestly, I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking like maybe the rock should go maybe two thirds the way up the tank or maybe half. If I wanna eventually go SPS, I wanna make sure that I probably just stay at the half po halfway point of the tank because SPS is gonna grow upwards as well. So I wanna make sure I leave room. Um, so, uh, I don't know. So I feel like this gate, something like this right here, we got like arches here and arches here. Got some little uh, outcroppings and stuff like this. I feel like it's interesting and I like the fact that I can place uh, corals here. Any surface that's kind of facing upwards, right? And not shaded, I should be able to place corals. But it just feel, I don't know, it feel, it feel too small. I feel like, I feel like it, it feels like too intricate. This scape may work with a, a lot of little frags, but when they actually get into colonies and those are the, the size preference I have, I like colony of corals, not like small ones. It's just gonna, it's gonna look off um, unless I keep all the corals in small, small chunks. So this may not be something that I wanna go into. So that's leave us down to what, uh, option one or three. One being the columns, right? And three being just like two big walls of rock, I guess. It sounds bad, but if you can pack it with coral, it actually looks quite decent. I mean, the problem is with column, like you can see here, is that if you place corals here, it may shade the one down there. So it's kind of tricky. And you really need to like plan ahead so that the, the, the main column of the rock does not block the whole thing. Because like if I look here, I can still kind of plant some zoas down here or some kind of uh, corals that reach outwards. So take a little bit planning, definitely not as much room uh, if I go with the column scape compared to the other two options. During this whole process, I talked to some of my friends and Daniel, Tank Addict, who's uh, quite good at aquascaping, gave me this tip. So like these kind of rocks I have, like initially I thought of only using them as a base rock or whatnot. He suggested that maybe I could break it apart, meaning that I can try to like slam it against a concrete floor and break it apart, see what kind of small pieces I have, or use a, um, a screwdriver and hammer to chisel it and make it into smaller chunks. This way I can kind of like combine the smaller chunks into uh, larger pieces of rock, which I think is a solid idea as well. Because like I mentioned before, like smaller pieces of rock seems to have a little bit more personality, pop, probably because of all the different ways you can work it. So for bigger chunks like this, that I really don't know what to do with, like I actually don't know what to do with this one. And this guy right here, that'll be a nice space rock. 
I plan to um, just chuck it on the concrete flooring, try to break it apart, see what kind of pieces I have. I'll probably get some smaller pieces. That's fine, we'll put it together. Um, and stuff like this, I also experiment with using a screwdriver and hammer and see how easy it is to do. All right, so that's where we're sitting at right now, just basically in aquascaping hell. I know some people love it. I thought I love it, but oh man, this kind of sucks, dude. <laughs> So for the next uh, week or two, I'm going to sit here and just kind of stare at the rock, move them around kind of like Lego pieces and see what we end up with. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Hakuna Matata. All right, guys, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go on Instagram Live and get some like real time feedback on the current skate. Let me just kind of like go around the skate a little bit so you can get a more complete look. Uh, I kind of got, let's see, well, let's, let's take it back from here first, huh? So here, I'm gonna slowly move into the scape. We got basically three arches going, although I'm not married to the idea of arch. We got a small one up front and a little further back. And something like this here. I would love to see what you guys think and how I can improve it. I intentionally not build it too high because I eventually this tank isn't gonna go SPS. So I wanna make sure there's uh, enough top room right there. That's actually a fantastic tip came in from um, Fish of Hex. And let me walk around here. One, okay, one thing, I remember this view right here. This is a front view, right? I'm kind of torn. I'm wondering, should I keep this a front or flip it? And by flipping it, and what is, Wait, what is she doing? <laughs> uh, here's the back view. If I can kind of fit, uh, tuck myself in the corner right here. So this is the back view right here. As you can see, the arch is a little bit taller right there. So this, if I flip the whole thing, so this is a front, it'd be kind of interesting too. Like these these front arches is kind of framing the tank. And then the fine details, you kind of see through the arch or like you look past it. So it shows a little bit more depth, I think. So it's a little bit more funky. But also the downside is that the backside right here is kind of hard to plant corals because it's obviously shading light. So I gotta figure something out. Maybe have a, a, a light that's kind of like from the front angle towards the back corner, if that makes sense. So I'm still trying to figure this part out. Uh, the left side, <clears throat> the left side, this side, ignore those. <laughs> those are just, so it's pretty much just this piece right here. Over here, I'm thinking maybe like, have an have a outcropping here and kind of like fade into the sand this way from that, that side down. Uh, so to be honest, I cannot see any of the comments as I'm filming. <laughs> So we'll see. I'll go back and uh, recheck this. One of, my, one of my worries that because like, if you look here, this is my sand, right? This is how deep the sand is. I'm worried that once I put the rock scape in, everything is gonna get buried in the sand. It may probably gonna get buried up to like this point right here. So I'm not sure if the scape is still gonna be as dramatic. Cause right now I don't think the scape is that dramatic. It's not dramatic enough. So that's one of my worry. I may have to kind of like prop everything up with some of these rocks a little bit higher. I don't know. But this is what I have so far. And I'm going to check the comment if, and I'm going to try to like just leave it here for maybe a day or two. Uh, actually, probably till Sunday so I can get some of the feedback in the YouTube video as well. Um, and if I like it, then I'm going to start cementing them down. I still have some rocks. And I'm thinking about using these rock to do something a little bit crazier because this is pretty tame. This is pretty normal. Let me see if you can. Yeah, so this is pretty tame. And I would like some flares, but I can't really think of how. Um, but I do have acrylic, rod, acrylic rods. I do have mason bits. I do have the cement. So we can definitely make something out of from maybe like here. I don't know. All right, that's all I got. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, feel free to say hi to yourself <laughs> if you watch the videos. <laughs> I think there's a little delay, so you got, you got, you got like 10 seconds to say, say whatever you want. And I guess I'll pan around, so it's interesting too, right? I see some crazy stuff. What is Emily doing? Huh? Upside down. Huh? Quantum Reaper, I can't stop loving the muck in the middle. Shout out to Philippines. I really want to go back. At Quantum Reaper on IG. There you go, guys. Uh. <laughs> 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 well, let's take a closer look, shall we? What's happening here?
When it comes to a small tank like this, this is a 17 gallon tank, my number one weapon to attack with is uh, a little razor blade right here.